Hi, thought I'd give a little audio sample demo of the 3D printed microphone that I made. I chose to make the microphone in a standard uh, format of uh, commercial uh, measurement microphones, so 20.5 millimeters diameter. It means you can use uh, standard tools like hot show, shoe mounts, and so on. And that made the project quite challenging because uh, it's fairly small. Uh, footprint that everything needs to fit in. So, um, in the front you have the uh, microphone capsule, electron, electric microphone, then the a battery, and then to the back there's a capacitor. Those are the only non-3D printed parts. And then towards the rear you see the socket. Apart from the size, the other major challenge is that cannot solder the conductive PLA material. So to make the connections between the components, say the capacitor or the uh, microphone capsules to the conductive PLA traces, there needs to be some sort of uh, pressure fit or tension um, between the two components. The problem is extra hard because the conductive uh, PLA material is too soft to act as a spring on its own. So you need to incorporate uh, springs dedicated to the task in uh, in normal PLA material. The sound quality itself is pretty good, however the noise level is fairly high. A major reason for this is that the signal output of the microphone is fairly low, so I need to turn my um, audio input preamplifier to max. This could be improved significantly by having a onboard preamplifier. However, the biggest problem in practice is that uh, the microphone exhibits what's called microphonics so sensitivity to motion. So when I press here, you hear this uh, scratching noise, and and this might be for several reasons. Um, it might be that uh, uh, my, the contact between the different elements inside are not uh, good. However, there is a also an intrinsic property to the three D printed conductive material is that it consists of non-conductive plastic and conductive graphite uh, in, a, in a mix and as you um, pressure the material um, more of the conductive uh, parts connect or they connect more with each other and as they come further apart they connect less with each other so you get this varying resistance to the material which is very interesting because it suggests that it can be used uh, as a sensor material so we could use this potentially to make pressure sensors or uh, sensors to detect things being pulled apart and also bending sensors. Uh, potentially one could even make a very low fidelity uh, microphone element itself. The part about this project which I'm particularly happy about was the uh, socket uh, uh, part of the microphone. It has a very uh, good uh, mechanical um, uh, fit and uh, seems to be electrically very sound too, no problems with scratching or or, um, or movement due to uh, varying co contact with it. So you'll hear, as I uh, put it in, there's a very nice uh, snap. Uh, feels very much like a standard uh, socket with uh, metal connectors.